But I had fucking red, we had roaches that would scare you. I don't care how big you are. I used to love to tell this story because my cousins came and visited me and they had just got out of the pen and, and they were, you know, they were big. They worked out and shit. They were strong. And, but those roaches, I'm like, hey, bro, yeah, yeah fuck, get that roach, fucker. <laughs> so I got a buzz. And they would walk up and they were big, dude. They even had like bank muscles back here. Like, they would do shit like that. Shit would pop out back here. So they were some small motherfuckers, dude. But a fucking flying roach would cut all that shit away. <laughs> How bad you are with this motherfucker, dude? What the fuck? Don't be bitchy, bro. What the fuck? I hit that motherfucker hard, bro. And when I went to prison, roaches weren't that big. I think that was a fucking crow. That's a fucking roach, bitch. That's how we got them. And we used to have fucking a lot of them. Because if you have one, you got a million. I hate when people say, Oh, we got a little bit of roaches. <laughs> now, you just ain't seen them other motherfuckers, but there's a lot of them. I used to know, I used to walk in the kitchen at night. I was thirsty, turn the light on, like a million roaches. All over, everywhere, like a million. Not 800,000, 900,000, a million. And then, you know what I mean, you would just go like this. And then they were all gone. The fucking light scared them. You're hiding behind everything, don't be all cool. You can see up the eagle's head sticking out of the I think I see you. One time I found some roaches in our Kool-Aid. Yeah, in our Kool-Aid, exactly. Ah, uh, see that? And we're grown up. I was a kid when I did that. I went in the kitchen, I grabbed the Kool-Aid, and I saw three baby roaches float on the Kool-Aid. And I was like, oh, so I threw it away. I put the fucking container on the counter, I closed the refrigerator, and my dad is right there. Hey, what the fuck you doing? I'm saving the family, Dad. There was roaches in the Kool-Aid. And then my dad fucked me up. He said, how many? I was a kid, like, how many? But does it matter? How many? Like, fuck, Dad, there was three. Okay, I was just asking. The big ones, the ones that fly, you scare everybody? I was like, no, no, it, it wasn't them. It wasn't? No. Oh, you talk about the media ones? The lady ones? That's what my dad told me. The media ones, the lady. I didn't know how he knew that shit. I thought my dad was smart. Like, oh, I knew the ladies. I was like, no, nah, dad, it wasn't, it, it wasn't the media ones. What? Like, no, nah, dad, it was, it was three baby roaches, dad. Are you serious? I'm like, dad, there was three fucking baby roaches floating on the Kool-Aid. Mijo, you can't get a fucking spoon like that three fucking times? You throw away a whole cup of sugar, a whole fucking thing of Kool-Aid for three fucking baby roaches? Go to your fucking room. Go to your fucking room. I felt like I did something really bad, bro. Like, fuck. And then I'm walking away and my dad says some shit that I'll never forget. I'm walking away and goes like, you act like you've never eaten a roach before. <laughs> Me, Mijo, Mijo, you like raisin bran? Yeah. You think those are all raisins, Mijo? You never seen a fucking raisin with pelito like that? Like, like, man, I was nine years old, dude. I was traumatizing. To this day, I'm 50. To this day, when I eat raisin bran, I don't even look at the fucking cereal. I probably eat like this. My kid's like, why do you eat your cereal like that? Because your bowl was a dick. I don't want to talk about it. I don't want to tell you because I don't want to ruin your life. Just eat it. Am I almost finished? Am I almost finished? I don't want to look. Am I almost finished? 